Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is He Got Issues 38610. Sorry about that. I'm about to mess my own name. But um, I want to do something different, man. I just watched uh, Marky's video about how CGC banned him. Uh, Marky, if you watch this or, you know, even check this out. Sorry to hear about it, man. Um, I think it's BS as well. But um, after watching that video, I came upon Jimmy C's channel, uh, which I've been a, a subscriber for him for a while. And I thought he wanted to do something a little different. Uh, he wanted to get away from comic books a little bit and get more into movies. And I thought, you know, that was actually kind of good to see after watching uh, Marky's video. Nothing bad against Marky, just, you know, he, it, sometimes you got to step away from comics and get back into, you know, um, some other hobby that you enjoy. So, uh, Jimmy C., first of all, thank you for that. Uh, I have more than uh, five movies. I know you said about five or so. Um, as you said too, it's kind of hard to narrow down movies, especially if you are kind of a movie buff, uh, like myself, and I really enjoy movies. Uh, there's a, a game I don't want to show this to. It's a game I don't mean my family plays a lot. Um, it's an Xbox 360. So I have a PS3, PS4, and a 360. <clears throat> I have two 360s. And, uh, we like to play this game. So I'm gonna show this first. Uh, this is, um, Screen It. I know it's a board game as well for this but it's real fun to play with the family the controllers look like this here uh so it's real fun you know you get the buzz in it's pretty neat so uh if you guys have a 360 you know still an old head like me this is a good game to pick up you can find it at uh gamestop for pretty cheap so um <clears throat> i'll make this a quick video as i try to do with anything else uh you guys see my background here just a couple batman figurines um that i enjoy it's kind of with the tv shows and the movies so I figured that would be a good backdrop for this video. Um, but sticking with Batman early, you know, I'm going to go and show these all at one time. Uh, I love all these movies from Batman. So those are my initial um, movies I'm going to show here. Uh, love them all, man. So let's see what else. Uh, some more Batman. Boom. I, is this too far for you guys? Can you see? <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I get you guys a good quality. I'm moving my camera a little bit. That's better. All right. Um, but yeah. Love this Arkham movie, too. This is the first kind of animated introduction that I know of for um, Suicide Squad. Really enjoyed this one. Um, this one here called The Brothers. Me and my best friends. Uh, this kind of. Uh, highlights all of us for the most part so love that one um <clears throat> 13 ghosts all right so 13 ghosts as horrible a movie as it is when i was 18 coming through this is my my date night go-to movie for some reason i don't know why girls to be scared of this and it was kind of yeah and so um so if anybody I dated back in my teens, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you're like, God dang it, yes, this was this was my go-to movie. So it just it was cool. Uh, sucks now if you watch it. Uh, Super bad. How can you not like the movie Super bad? Awesome, awesome movie. Um, my favorite quote was gonna come from that movie more likely, and probably or probably this one. Team America loved hilarious, hilarious, hilarious movie. Uh, Super Troopers, how can you not? Uh, <clears throat> Alright, Romeo and Juliet. Now, I learned about Romeo and Juliet. I started reading back in, like, middle school, junior half or something. And I didn't understand Jack they were talking about. Alright, so I had a great English teacher. And I hated this teacher initially, but she actually opened my eyes to, to Shakespeare, put it that way. Just being real about it. Um... So, upon reading it, like, maybe before, I kept, because I wanted to understand, you know, Shakespeare was this big guy. I wanted to understand what the heck he was talking about. So, I kept reading, kept reading, and then it starts to click, start to make sense. Then a movie came out, and I'm like, oh, wow, you know, I'll be explaining to, like, if I was, this is my second go-to date night movie. <laughs> I'm like, hey, girl, he's talking about this, and this is what that means, and, you know, I throw my arm around him and stuff, and get a little kiss in, you know, it's cool, so... Reminiscent. Um, hackers. Uh, yeah, this was PSP, the original PSP. I don't have a regular DVD copy of that, but my D PSP unfortunately got stolen, and game stock doesn't take these anymore. But I still love this movie. Uh, there's something about Mary. Love that movie. Um, 
behind enemy lines, the significance behind enemy lines to me was I used to be a fat, chunky butt little dude, man. And um, I watched this movie, and this dude had to run the entire movie. And I was like, crap, I'm in the military. I was like, crap. <laughs> what if I'm in a situation like this, and I had to run as much, I would... I, I, I'd be dead. And I was like, that's unacceptable. So this movie actually is what's, what was my movie influence to start working out, to lose weight. I went from 210 to 165. So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wilson. I appreciate that. Um, wrapping it up, guys. So Boomerang. I, Eddie Murphy in this movie is called Marcus. Marcus is my real name. So that's something you guys didn't know about me. So hopefully that's a check as well. There, uh, Mr. Jimmy C. Um, but yeah, this guy named Marcus. He he dates a lot of women. Back in my day, this was my go-to move. I used to watch him to learn how to, you know, speak, how to dress, how to interact with women. Yeah, I mean, it's an old movie, but it still it gave a good baseline if you know how to interpret it well. So... Along with uh, Romeo and Juliet and Thirteen Ghosts, this was also my, you know, my movie watch routine. So basically, guys, I used to watch one of these three movies throughout the week before a date. You know, it depends how many they had that week. Um, and then one of the, one of the other ones would be that movie I watch for that date the weekend. So, uh, but this was always a go-to if I had a big date. You know, kind of learn how to get fancy, fly, whatever you want to call it back in the day. So. Uh, thank you, Mr. Eddie Murphy. Um, moving on. Uh, all right, so these are my last, these are my top three movies, though, okay? So, and I try to give you one of everything. All right, The Collector. This was the most suspenseful movie I watched. I don't know why. I thought it, the premise behind it was really cool. The guys that made Saw uh, 4, 5, and 6 made this movie. And basically, the collector is about a thief and a murderer in the same house with this family. And it's just, it's crazy. It is freaking crazy. So, I absolutely love this movie. I watched this movie a thousand times. I may actually end up watching it uh, today, as a matter of fact. Um, sliding this over. Uh, not to be all sentimental, but Crazy Stupid Love, I probably think, has one of the best cast. Um, funny, realistic. Uh, kind of movie, man, because I was going through a divorce when this movie came out. And uh, so it has that sentimental value, too. And uh, it made me laugh and me feel some type of way about certain things, but it also, you know, gave me, like, an outlook that, hey, me and my ex can, you know, work towards being good friends and, you know, being co-parenting and so on and so forth. So while still kind of, you know, you know he went through, uh, Steve went through a couple of his, you know, sowing his oats and you know i went through that too back in the day um so i kind of related to so many different aspects of this movie so that's why this is my number two movie so um last but not least oh god don't follow me um this uh, i don't know if this is a shocker to anybody or whatever but uh yeah and i have two of these okay so copy one was right here copy two is right here all right, this is my Afghanistan copy. So this is what Blu-ray movies look like in Afghanistan. If you guys have never been, um, blah, blah, blah. So they basically take the cover of a movie. They stick it in this little clear case. And the movie's in there. But it's basically like a blank DVD. They just throw their own little uh, thing on it to make a cover for it. So it looks legit. Um, but yeah, it's quote, unquote, Blu-ray quality for an Afghanistan movie. I think I paid three bucks for that and of course this is walmart you know three five dollar bin so thought this was an amazing movie from when i first seen it when it came out it's funny it's action uh you got nicholas cage awesome uh robert De uh duvall awesome and angelina jolie beautiful you know so love this movie man can't can't say too much about, about it but uh top quotes top quotes from a movie um, Team America, I can't, I'm going to keep it clean. The D, F, P, quote, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> or D, F, A, quote, ooh, wow. 
Uh, I thought it was hilarious. I really, really did. Um, and then super bad, you know, back in the day, too, me and my buddies, man, I got a group of friends who I've been tight with since forever. One up since kindergarten, other since third grade, eighth grade, and so on and so forth. Um, so we used to talk about, you know, getting with girls or hooking up, you know, whatever you want to call it nowadays. And uh, I, we, when this movie came out, we used to laugh so hard, man, because he was like, uh, you know how guys, girls go to party, and I'm like, oh, I can't believe I hooked up with a guy. We could be that guy. Like, we used to always joke about what if, like, the popular girl, you know, or just some random hot chick just came over and, like, you know, at a party one night, and just, we just have to be so lucky. So, uh, that, that quote used to make us laugh so, so much. So, uh, thank you to the producers of Super Bad for making that movie. Love it. Still watch it to this day. So, Jimmy C, hopefully I answered all the questions and followed all the rules. I am over 18. Um, you know, I told you guys something about myself, my first name, and, uh, you know, my top movie. So, Jimmy C, keep hunting, man. You are an inspiration. I know right now you're downsizing. Um, I'm currently downsizing two of my collection, but um, you still are one of the guys I follow on YouTube, and I enjoy your videos. Uh, thank you. Keep bringing them, uh, whether it be, you know, whatever you do, you know, just keep Keep being yourself. I like that. I can tell that you're very honest and genuine um, when you bring your videos. So thank you. Uh, if you guys are subscribers to my channels or first time watching, I try to do comic calls weekly. Uh, I also do a lot of Instagram uh, photos for my comic books I post. And um, I'm always appreciative of you guys stopping through and uh, checking out my videos. So this is He Got Issue 6810. Is I have the same name on Instagram, and I hopefully you guys have a good hump day, and look forward to the weekend as much as I am. This is uh, he got his shoes, and I'm out.